We're going on probably 40 minutes right now. All right. coffee clash a little bit here. I must. I was about to ask you the same thing. What's the name of the badge number, if you don't mind me asking? 3250. Your, your last name? Baker. Baker. Yeah. Mr. Officer Baker, I see you back here quite a bit. Yeah. Do you always hang out back here, I guess? Yeah, out of the sun. Yeah, in the sun. Can anybody find you back here if they need an officer and they're driving by? My radio. So, cars have radio, please? Probably people have radios in their cars to come and get you? So I have a radio in my car? What's that? I have a radio in my car, I can call you? Well, uh, if you are not on public, pr private property and out in public where you're visible, people that may need you might be able to drive by and say, oh, there's an officer, let me grab him. You know what I mean? Being back here, I really don't see you that visible in case a citizen might need an officer and doesn't have time to call 911. So what do you think about that? Don't really care? Nah? I didn't think you. I figured you did. I must. I must. I must. You've been here about a half hour so far. Um, well, I'm glad you admit it. Probably more like 40 minutes. But I, I've gotten you back here probably 10 to 12, 15, 20 times. About this time of day. That's about right. Do your reports on the internet? Huh. Interesting. So you really have no qualms of being back here hiding, I guess, at this time of the day. Well, you're underneath a private property parking garage where no one can see you unless they drive through the garage. So to me, that's that's really not what's wrong with that. No one wants on private property. You have permission to be here. You do? Can I see that in writing? I think it's, it's not in writing. Um, this is not a public. This is private property here. No, I'm sure they don't, but I'm sure that you don't really have permission unless it's in writing. But the point is that you're not visible. And I, and I really believe you need to be visible a little bit more. Well, I, I pay your salary, so I'm your boss, so... Well, then you might want to, you know, you guys get $14 million. You're, this is one section of the township's budget. 43% of the budget goes to the police. That's quite a bit of budget. That's almost 50% of the budget goes to the police in this township every year. $14 million. And I would like to see a little bit more action than sitting back here, just chilling out for whatever reason, not really out in the public. I, I think since I'm your boss, that that's what you should be doing. I'm not your boss. I'm not your boss. I'm not your boss. Who is your boss? Chief of police is your boss. And who is his boss? And who are their bosses? Oh, the citizens. Very good. So I am your boss. Not as far as you're concerned. Well, I know you're ignorant. No, well, I know your ignorant attitude really. That's not an opinion. That is a fact. 
Well, facts are facts, opinions are opinions. So again, I see you're, you're, you really don't care less what you do. You have no responsibility to the public. You couldn't care less if they pay you anything or not. No, it's, it's fact. Right here is fact. You're, you're, what you just told me is fact. So how about moving along, let's get to work, let's stop looking at the internet, you're not doing any paperwork, you're just back here fucking around. So can we please get back to work before I go call Tom and show him the 30 videos I have of you back here fucking off? Wouldn't care less, would he? Probably not, huh? I don't know. Do you care if he cares? I know you don't care. I'm glad you just admitted you don't care. Why don't you care? Don't you want to have the police to have a, a better respect for their citizens? Don't you want citizens to have a better respect for the officers in their township? Well, I, I get a lot of respect. By sitting back here fucking off all day? No, I give you plenty of respect. I just had to come back here and pull you out of your car and arrest you. Okay, I've given you respect by coming up as a gentleman and discussing this with you as a, as a gentleman. It's not an opinion. I'm a gentleman. Okay? okay. So why don't you be... I'm not yelling at you and cursing at you. What, what do I... Plenty of times to other guys. Well, then, do they deserve it? No, they don't. Really? Well, how do you know? Were you there? Were you, were you there? Were you there? Were you there? They don't deserve you protect your kind is what you just told me okay because you weren't there you don't know what was going on and I don't yell at people I'm not yelling at you I only yell at people no, if if they deserve to be you're yelled at opinion, you want. if they deserve to be yelled at then I will yell if they don't need to be yelled at then I don't yell so I don't start a fight but I sure as hell will finish one and that's the way I am in life I don't start problems but I'll finish one this is a problem this is a big problem I will take up with the Chief since you have this cavalier attitude and don't give a shit, which is a shame because we respect our officers and I expect the officers to respect their bosses who pay their salary, okay? So why don't you please stop hiding back here every day, all the time, the same time every day. You know, it, it's kind of, kind of disgusting. I don't pay $14 million for you not to do your job. Okay, the township doesn't pay $14 million for you to be back here fucking off all day. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Stop being so condescending, okay? I don't like that. I'm not a little child. I'm an adult, okay? Then treat me like one with your... I am. What do you think I'm doing by talking to you like a gentleman and an adult? Okay, but you're being very condescending and, and, and shitty about it. Well, how am I being shitty by telling you the truth? Well, of course I'm your boss, and, and, and it's not, I'm not really making that as a point, but the point is that I can kind of tell you to get moving. Why? What? You're not going to listen to me. Oh, okay. Well, that's very kind of you to blow off the citizens who pay your salary. What? You don't give a crap? No? That's pretty sad, man. That's real sad. It's what it is. Wow, you just don't give a shit, do you? Wow. Why? Don't you have respect? You have right to be there, thank you. No, you know this is proper property. You need to be on public property. This is private property. If you want to do nothing, you need to go on pro public property out in the open in case the citizen needs you. That's a fact. In case the citizen needs you, the fact is coming. When a citizen needs you, they can't find you back here hiding. You need to be out in the open. So if they do need you for a real reason, they can contact you. There's, a, there's, there's probably 400,000 cars that drive by on that 202 on a daily basis. So out of those 400,000, I'm sure one of them may need assistance and, and really, would like if they're being bothered or something, they can pull over right to you and, and ask you to help instead of calling 911. But you don't care about that because you're back here and you've told me you don't care about that. Eh, I see you care. <clears throat> you don't care what I have to say. So what if 30 of us came and told you to get moving? Would you care then? You might. Just because it's one person you don't give a shit. But if it's 30 people, you may give a shit. Oh, okay. So my, my, my um, thoughts and feelings don't really matter, I guess, huh? A history of what? Keeping you guys accountable? I have a history of keeping you guys accountable is all I have. You guys don't like to be accountable, I can't help that. I know I've been right, and, and if you guys don't like being held accountable, then you might want to do your job a little bit better. You may. I don't know. I won't. I've only seen you back here. It's the only time I've ever seen you. So to me, you're, you're really not doing your job well. I don't see you out patrolling. I see other officers out patrolling. I, I catch you back here so much. It's, it's really sad. Really just sad. I, I absolutely will. I'm going to go see Tom tomorrow, and I absolutely will bring this up, and I'll show him the video that we have going right here. 
and all your cavalier attitude and don't give a shit and tell me I'm not your boss. Everything's recorded. And I appreciate you being very candid and getting that on tape for me. Because that'll be very damning to you when the, when the suits start coming down the road. All right? So why don't you get moving? All right? I'll wait right here until you get moving. I'll be waiting a little while. And you too, Giggles. I'll wait right here until you leave. All right? <clears throat> Wow. Just don't give a shit at all. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Well, this may be a long way, because this fucking condescending idiot just don't quite get it. This fucking guy's lucky out. I'm ripping a new fucking asshole. Wow. Wow. In my face. <clears throat> well, that's what happens when you're nice and kind to people. I ask them to please go back and do their job. They laugh in your face. And say, I'll do what I want. So, $14 million, 43% of the budget, and I'll do what I want. And admits he'll do what he wants, and admits he sits back here, and he admits he doesn't give a fuck. Wow. 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 Bye, criminal. Fucking jackass.